Today, we learn how to remove background of any image by using pen tool in Photoshop. To make any poster from image, background should be removed accurately, specifically hair part. So, without further delaying, let's start the video. First of all, open pen tool. Zoom in the image to a level when all details are clearly visible to you. Start drawing line around the object. Try to draw the line little inside the object. Now, we reached a tear part. Draw the line inside the loose hairs. Don't select loose hairs. Don't select those hairs around which background color appears. We will select those hairs by using hidden feature of Photosip. Just follow the clear path. When you reach at the starting point, then O symbol appears with pen icon. Just close the path. Then right click on object and select make selection. The value of feather radius must be zero pixel. Then click OK. Your object gets selected. Now, if you want to deselect some area from this image, then draw the line around that portion. I am selecting this area just to give example to you. Actually, this area is a part of our main image. When you draw line in this area, then right click, then select make selection. Then, select a third option that is subtract from selection, and press OK. Now, our selection is ready. Now, we use hidden feature of Photoshop to cut out remaining portion, specifically hairs. Go to select. Now, press and hold shift key, and click on select and mask option. Keep in mind to press and hold shift button. Then a new dialog box will appear on screen. There are draw and eraser tool available on top left along with size. We use draw tool. If I select more area than required, in that case, we use eraser. Now, zoom in the image and select draw tool. Adjust the size. Plus icon will appear on screen. Then, just click and drag the mouse on hidden area which we want to select. Here, in our case, we want to select hairs. So, I drag the mouse on loose hairs. The hairs will appear on the screen magically. But these hairs appear with little more brightness than remaining hairs. We remove this light later. We are just adding the hairs in this layer. When you are satisfied with result, press OK. Now, select a mask for this layer. And I add a black color layer at background to see the cutout area clearly. Move this layer below the image. Now, I change the color to gray to see the details. Here are some fringes or white light. So we remove this light with very simple trick. Before that, I add colored sky at background to see this light clearly. Now, make a new layer above this layer. And select clone tool. In sample select, current and below. Now press and hold alter option key, and click on just nearby area, from where we have to remove light. And start to paint on the white area. But here is a problem. This paint goes outside the object. So, first of all, just limit this paint in the object, by creating clipping mask of this layer. Press and hold alter option key, and click on the line between these two layers. Clipping mask created. Now, again take a sample from nearby area and paint on the light. You can see the results on screen. We use similar technique to remove fringes or light from the hairs. Take the sample very carefully. It will affect the result if you take sample from the wrong area. You can see how clearly we cut out the hairs. All other details are also very clear and sharp. Now this image is ready to use for poster. If you want to ask any question, you can ask in comment section as well as on Instagram. Please support me by just pressing the like button. If you did not subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe it and press the bell icon. Thank you. Tell me pretty lights, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.